every once in a while a weapon comes around which completes a build or a playstyle, and this is one of those times. Void hasn't been used a whole lot this season, and I blame some particular mods, but after trying out some of the stronger perk combinations that Rasarago has to offer, it's all I want to use. But why this over another Void synergistic weapon? There is plenty of them around after all, and the reason being just how hard Onslaught goes on a weapon, with a starting fire rate of 600 RPM. All other options are 450 RPM or below, and since the perk gives a multiplier to the base RPM, the higher the starting value, the crazier it gets. And here's the RPM values at different stacks of Onslaught, achieved on final blows and can be refreshed at the highest stack once active. 822 being the RPM you want to hit, and for an auto rifle this is completely unheard of. It surpasses even the majority of SMGs, with only the 900 RPM options being higher. But here you have all the advantages auto rifles have to offer, notably increased range and stability over high rate of fire SMGs. It also increases reload speed as the stacks increase at these amounts. Having reload and DPS increase in a single perk is pretty insane. It's similar to Frenzy, but with a higher DPS increase, although at a cost of lesser stat boosts. A recent change has also made it that you no longer lose damage as the RPM gets higher. It remains as it would do at base. And here's where the Void Synergy comes in. It goes without saying that it being a Void element means it can utilise volatile rounds, but it also rolls a Repulsor Brace in the third column, and that's the exact combination I managed to obtain. Where this works exceptionally is Gear Falcon's Hunter for an infinite loop of volatility into invisibility. This is the gameplay you're currently seeing in the background. I couldn't think of a single legendary primary which fits this build more. It also works on Void Titans using Offensive Bulwark and Controlled Demolition. So now you can build an Overshield, which grants increased ability energy, and you can spread volatility that way. Or can also be used on Controverse Hold Void Warlock alongside Echo of Instability to grant volatile using grenades too. While on any of these classes, Rosarago really shines. It's not solar, so it will be overlooked a little this season, but afterwards, especially if Void is given a seasonal spotlight, it will be one of the best. But actually, wait, this thing could also be solar, as it has permeability, and I bet that would be amazing. Only thing is though, it's a world drop, so I don't actually have this role to test. And on other strong options, we also have rewind rounds. Onslaught eats up the mag pretty quickly, and while this isn't really an issue due to it also giving reload speed buffs, a larger yet magazine to make the most use of the highest RPM will always be appreciated. Either of these options would be perfect for any non-void subclass. Overall, just an absolute workhorse of a weapon. One which feels incredible. It also has that funny Telesto styled origin trait, and final blows of these bolts will give you an extra onslaught stack. It's a nice bonus. But as I have mentioned, it is a world loot pull drop, so unfortunately, or well, maybe fortunately, all you've got to do to get this weapon is just play the game. You are at mercy of RNG however, but a lot less than last season. I've actually had a fair few of these to drop, but thing is the rolls are normally a bit rubbish. So that's for Rosarago. Give it a go if you get any of the mentioned rolls. It's perfect for what it does, and it will be farmable next season if you don't manage to get one. Thank you for watching.